5-MeO-MIPT is a psychedelic in the tryptamine class. It's not as popular as LSD or psilocin, but it has been used for a couple decades. Usually it's sold through the research chemical market either as itself or as a component of branded products. It doesn't have strong visual effects at common doses and is instead known for its tactile, bodily, and sexual effects. As with any drug, the most I can do is provide an outline of the typical effects. Your experience is not going to perfectly match the description I provide, since there are different ways people can respond to a drug. Among the positive effects are stimulation, mood enhancement, closed and open eye visuals, music enhancement, auditory distortions, sexual enhancement, and intactogen-like effects. The negatives can include nausea, vomiting, muscle tension, increased heart rate and blood pressure, confusion, sweating, hot and cold sensations, and headache. Overall, 5-MeO-MIPT is pretty unique among the psychedelics and has an effect profile that pulls from multiple drug classes. It's usually stimulating rather than sedating, though the stimulation is more physical than mental. Because of this, some users find engaging in activities like hiking or dancing to be more comfortable than sitting still. Having an outlet for the physical energy can minimize jitteriness and feelings of unease, but it's also the case that other users dislike being active on it. At common doses, it's not a very confusing or insightful substance, but it can have a moderate impact on your thinking and creativity. It's been called a shallower psychedelic for this reason, though that should not be taken to mean it cannot trigger a distressing or useful experience. Feelings of dissociation and dreaminess are often reported. At high doses, confusion and generally strange experiences are much more common. There are a few reports of people becoming unresponsive or having trouble talking, mainly at high doses. It's commonly promoted as a tryptamine alternative to MDMA, but this is almost always an exaggeration. There are some elements, like increased appreciation of others and pleasant tactile sensations, that could be comparable, but it's not a full intactogen and has a much less reliable impact on mood and outlook. The visual effects can be substantial at high doses, but at common amounts, they're limited. You can still receive color color enhancement, changes to depth perception, and some movement like breathing. But very strong distortions or hallucinations are rare at these doses. People who are primarily interested in visual effects aren't likely to be satisfied by using it unless they can handle higher doses, which will often be physically unpleasant because a minority of people do get substantial distortions. While others never get them even at high doses, it's been hypothesized that a metabolic difference could be at play. There's no proof of this, but but it is true that the effects, visual and otherwise, vary a lot between people, as is often the case with psychedelics in general. Sexual effects are attributed to the drug more often than with most psychedelics. Tactile enhancement combines with a higher sex drive and lower inhibition. It's also easier for a male to get an erection than it is with intactogens, which can similarly enhance tactile sensation. With 5-MeO-MIPT, orgasms can also be more intense. Many reports describe sexual thoughts or sensations suddenly manifesting, even in situations that are not conducive to sexual activity. Those feelings can be ignored if needed. Music is often more impactful. Users report noticing aspects of songs that are normally ignored, and music may also trigger physical sensations or visual distortions, more often with eyes closed. Music and sex are two of the main cases where people, at least those who respond well to the drug, will choose it in place of other psychedelics. Actually, Actual auditory distortions can be present as well, though they're not always positive. Because it doesn't have a significant headspace and usually does not produce strong visuals, the tactile and other sensory effects are some of the main positive aspects of the drug. If those aren't present or sufficiently enjoyable, you may be disappointed. But when the experience is positive, it can be one of the most enjoyable psychedelics. Body load is very common and can ruin an experience when it's significant. It can include nausea, overexcitation, vomiting, chills, lightheadedness, bloating, shivering, sensations of heat, tension, and headache. Feeling like you can't breathe properly or like you're experiencing a lot of cardiovascular stress can contribute to anxiety and panic. These physical symptoms underlie a lot of the anxiogenic potential of the drug and are responsible for a large portion of the negative experiences. 
in the absence of those properties, it doesn't tend to cause much anxiety. People are much more likely to become stressed due to feeling uncomfortable and being concerned about their physical safety. It's not an exaggeration to say it can feel horrible to an extent that's largely not seen with other psychedelics. This is not the typical experience, but it is a possibility, and it's one of the reasons you need to be careful with your dosing. On average, the come up is more uncomfortable than the peak and come down, despite it having a notable body load. It can also come with physical euphoria and other positive bodily effects, sometimes concurrently with the aforementioned negatives. Tactile enhancement, such as things feeling softer or enjoying contact with other people, is very common. And even in the absence of external input, it can produce rushes of pleasurable sensations in the body. This same effect might be the cause of unpleasant coldness and heat for those who are perceiving the effect differently. When taken orally, it begins working in 15 to 45 minutes and lasts for 3 to 6 hours. The peak effects are usually present for 2 to 3 hours. After the main duration, there can be some lingering effects, including insomnia. 5-MeO-MIPT is a substituted tryptamine and an analog of 5-MeO-DIPT. The 5-methoxy substitution, in addition to causing changes to the effects, increases the potency of the substance compared to its parent compound, MIPT. Compared to MIPT, the 5-MeO substitution increases affinity for the 5-HT2A receptor, the main target of the drug. Studies have shown it's primarily a serotonin receptor agonist with a minimal impact on monoamine transporters. I've seen a number of claims online about it being a monoamine oxidase inhibitor or a serotonin releasing agent. There's currently no support for its MAOI property, and the research indicates it's not a significant monoamine releaser or reuptake inhibitor. It's almost always taken orally, but there are some reports of inhalation and rectal administration. When inhaled, it can produce a sudden rush and a feeling akin to 5-MeO-DMT and DMT in some respects. It still isn't a very visual substance, but the initial effects can be compared to those substances. The initial rush from inhalation usually declines by about 30 minutes and gives way to more typical 5-MeO-MIPT effects. Orally, a light dose is 1 to 3 milligrams. A common dose is 3 to 8 milligrams, and a strong dose is 8 to 12 milligrams. Because it has a steep dose response curve and varies between users, it can be difficult to find an ideal amount. Even a couple milligrams can add a substantial amount of body load or negative psychological effects. Dosing is further complicated by its potency. Even the average milligram scale won't be very accurate, though it's better than nothing. Volumetric dosing is preferred for more accurately measuring down to the milligram level. You should start with just 2 to 4 milligrams to gauge your sensitivity. Even light doses occasionally lead to confusing or uncomfortable responses. It was first described in the mid-1980s by Alexander Shulgin and others. Their paper on the drug described its effects in five people across 12 trials. It was found to have an effective dose of 5 milligrams and a duration of 3 hours. The substance produced an extremely rapid onset of symptoms, including a general heightening of awareness accompanied by amphetamine-like central stimulation. It appeared on the research chemical market in the 2000s, and more experience reports began to show up. 5 meo MIPT is still sold through that market, as well as through the dark web, as of 2018. It's unscheduled in the U.S., but it could be treated as an illicit analog. It's also specifically scheduled in Florida, Louisiana, and Minnesota. It could be an illicit analog in Australia. In Canada, it's unscheduled, and in the U.K., it's a Class A substance. Given the lack of information about the drug, it should be taken at common doses, infrequently, and without combinations. Based on its apparent pharmacology and effects, it's reasonable to assume agitation, confusion, panic, tachycardia, hypertension, and temporary psychosis are possible outcomes. The chance of those can be reduced by sticking to a reasonable dose. A few medical case reports are available that support its ability to cause confusion and temporary psychotic states. Some of the risky combinations include stimulants, other psychedelics, tramadol, and MAOIs. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. The Drug Classroom is only funded by donations. This content is possible due to listener support. If you want to support, you can do so through Patreon, PayPal, or Bitcoin.